All right, uh, it's been 300 w runs. I think I can admit that for this one, I am completely biased. One of my best friends in the world, Philip Scott from Plymouth, Michigan, nine years ago, showed up about six inches shorter, 100 pounds heavier at Movement Lab, failed the first obstacle, came back the next year, failed the first obstacle. Nine years later, last or eight years later, I guess, last year, beat the first or beat the first stage at Ninja Quest. Yep, Such a huge redemption run. That was very and emotional the light is, run for sure for everybody in the building. Oh, careful, careful, careful. His right foot really close there at the bottom, but he's he's okay. A little shaken, but he's figuring it out. There we go. Third step. Careful, Whoa. don't pull too hard. And we said taller competitors at a disadvantage. Six two. Although he leans down to about one fifty five for this event. Strides the fourth one. Careful! Oh my goodness, the whole step tipping, but he was Whoa, able to correct great it. great save. I can't imagine how he feels if I'm shaking here. And he strides very good. Woo. And Philip, super strong on vertical grips. That's most of what he trains. So he could easily be one of the very few to beat the monster swing. Yeah, he's just got to control his breathing now and get rid of that shakiness. <clears throat> oh, super quick on the jigsaw. All right, he yeah. beat the first obstacle. At, th at this point, I'm sure he's uh, going to be happy with that ever happens. Yep. He's, he's checking something. Interesting. Like, he looked like he was reaching to see if he could reach out to it. I'm wondering if he's, if he's is, thinking about a static approach. This would be very interesting if that's what he's thinking. And that's what he's going to do. He's oh. going to try to static it. He's, he's going to try to static. static it. I am out of my seat, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, he's got it. Oh, my God. He's got oh the second one. Oh, my goodness. He's, he's the first one to try the static but approach. He, but the swing is awkward. The swing is awkward. He has the grab. Come on, Philip. He's... Oh, he's right there at the platform. He's right there. He he's does got it. it. There he's go, go, go. Absolute beta break right there as he's the first competitor all weekend to do the static approach. 25, 18 seconds left. He is running out of time. 15 seconds. He has to go on shape escape. Goes down. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. He's got a slither. Oh, and no. And you know what? I think he touched down in the middle. But you know oh, no. what? Nothing to be ashamed of. That is going to end up being his best placement ever. And you can see the crowd is loving what just happened. A bow to the crowd and an applause from the commentary booth. Wow. What a run by Philip Scott doing something that nobody thought of, even getting love from Drew.